let's talk about this tool which looks like this and it's an edge trimmer for these bands which are applied onto metal main boards they have glue on the back and they are wider than the boards themselves here we have this one so the band was applied onto it and we have these two edges we have to cut them down okay to do that you can use a simple knife or you can use a trimmer like this now let's analyze it a little bit so it has knives it has let's take it apart it has springs inside okay so it consists of these two parts okay you can use either one of them or both of them together but it has this knife that's the most important one they are identical by the way left and right is the same the circle is smaller and larger by the way you cannot insert it the other way around it will not enter it has arrows so this points down and that points up so both of them have to be pointing let's say down okay so this is the most important part this is cutting the the band itself and it has these two those are cutting the band at 45 degrees i don't recommend them at least i cannot use them let's do it the band itself sticks out and that means that yes the springs would be better now <laughs> you have to introduce the band itself into those two openings and then push it together something like that i just broke the end so introduce it there into this opening the other way around so with that u-shape cut down because the inside of that u-shape is cutting so introduce it there that in the middle will cut it you have to squeeze it a little bit so that it will be in contact with this and the other side okay and push it down and it's cutting it can we get a better view so it is cutting it okay the other one which i don't know how to use is this one that should cut the edge at 45 degrees but you cannot really adjust it at least it's not easy because you have to unscrew it and you have to move it a quarter of a millimeter or half a millimeter up or down and then tighten it if you move it too down then it will cut into the wood also this is the uglier portion of the wood because the blade came out on this edge the other side is more beautiful okay but when you are tightening that screw it can move that knife up and down so i cannot recommend it or at least i cannot use it but the other one which is here that knife is the most important one and it's cutting the excess off of your board like so so that's the uglier part and that's the more beautiful part let's see yes it's pretty beautiful of course this edge is pretty ugly i mean it will cut your finger and since i cannot recommend using that one because the surface will not be very smooth i personally use a file just a metal file and make it more round of course this will make it a little bit white also because it takes away a little bit from the wood it makes the glue of the band a little bit visible but i don't care this is much more round this is it cuts your finger as you can see okay and 
whenever this gets filled you can use a tool sharp object and you can clean it out if you use sandpaper then you can't really clean that out this requires some time of course but it's doable okay so let's put it back by the way this side can be pushed down that side not really from the center is better let's take a look at this also so you can loosen it see it went down so you can adjust that movement up or down but it's not easy I prefer to pull it all the way down so it will not be in contact and just tighten it by the way I got a few more knives they are not here they are in a package let me show you that package also here are the knives so there are two more knives for cutting off the edge and four for trimming at 45 degrees so here's another one let's try it introduce it there put that knife there to the bend squeeze it and pull it down So this portion is cutting and that one you can use both sides this or that now let's try to use that one also let's see what will happen so I will put it onto it loosen it, it already moved a little bit make it in contact just a tiny amount and tighten it let's see it cuts into the wood I'm moving it down a little bit and tighten it <laughs> now that's acceptable but the fire does a much better job this is still sharp 45 degrees is not enough the top and the other side is kinda sharp so I don't recommend using that one move it down and tighten it so that you will not be in contact plus you have to do with the other one also if you want to use them both of them have to be in contact at the perfect distance which is pretty hard to achieve I will do it this way much nicer and here is a problem up there as you can see it's wider so this wood is here and it stops here and it starts from here because of this one but if I rotate it, it should cut up, but it stops. And if I take it apart, like so, then I can cut it here on this side. 
On the other side I cannot cut it. So I have to use the knife for this portion. <laughs> 